Hi. I want to tell you my testimony how Jesus found me. I'm born in Lebanon in Christian family. My my father was Orthodox, my mother was evangelical, and my grandmother was Catholic, Maronite. So we had all types of confession in our family. So I was a little bit open minded. I visited all kinds of churches. I I was only thirteen years old. I heard the message of Jesus by a Muslim guy. He told me about Jesus, how Jesus found him. He told me how Jesus saved him. He was persecuted by his family. They wanted to kill him, but he persisted. And the Lord gave him victory, and he found Jesus. And Jesus took him away from his family. So I was very amazed how he's a Muslim guy, and he found Je Jesus found him and changed him, and he's telling me about Jesus, and I am I, it's me I must tell tell him about Jesus, and I am a Christian, I don't have any relation with Jesus, I don't know who is Jesus. So after that I had a small accident, I was going to die, we went to see with my friend we entered in the, in the water we wanted to play and the waves took us into deep we didn't know swimming so we, we were drowning I saw all my sins behind me and I hear this voice now you are dying you will go to hell but I asked the Lord to save me to give me another chance and the Lord, I saw the hand of the Lord took us back to the beach there was no man helping no man's hand it was the Lord's hand but I didn't know, knew at that moment because, because I, didn't, I wasn't a believer but now I know that He gave me another chance and my friend he's still alive he can testify it he lives in Canada and after that the Lord gave me another chance to live I didn't accept Jesus I was very stubborn I, did, I continued in sins after 2-3 years I traveled to Italy I continued my high school in Venice and after that I came back to Lebanon I entered the Lebanese army. I was a soldier. I saw the war. We were fighting. And one day the Holy Spirit talked to me. I didn't know it was the Holy Spirit, but now I know. He said to me, if you are, now you are a soldier and every time there is danger, you can be killed. If you die now, you will go to hell. No one can save you if you don't accept Jesus. I left the Lebanese army but I didn't accept Jesus. After one year I was in an evangelical church with a pastor who was praying, he was inviting people so if someone want to pray with him I pray with him, I accepted Jesus and Jesus saved me. I, my, my heart was changed and I, w I had a peace in my heart. I was born again and I was changed totally, my life was changed. My friends were very amazed how the Lord changed me, how the Lord gave me a new heart. He took the old heart, stone heart, He gave me a flesh heart. So after one year, we were, we, I was in the church, we were praying and fasting because we had a seminary after. We were asking the Holy Spirit to be filled by the Holy Spirit and I was baptized by the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit came down on, down on me I was filled by the Holy Spirit as the disciples 
and I had a fever because my body didn't support the, and I came back I came out I began to preach every people and to speak about Jesus without any I didn't have I was I didn't afraid I went everywhere every time I sp spoke about Jesus even to to Muslims to Durzis every people in Lebanon and uh, one day I was giving a leaflet to a man and he told it and <coughs> insult God I made the, I made a video of this it's the judgment of the Holy Spirit you can't watch it and the Lord struck them because the same the same night and you will hear the, my video you can you can know what the story and I saw the Lord he was glorifying in my in my life I saw many miracles many visions one time a woman I talked to her about Jesus she was the mother of my friend I went to the hospital I said to her if you want to accept Jesus she said to me I don't need but after the Lord I had a vision the Lord what showed me that he, my friend was coming to me he said to me my mother will die I said to him no she will not die she will be saved believe in Jesus and I went the next day to the hospital and she accepted Jesus the doctor said that she will die in one week and she lived after three months so the Lord was glorifying in my life till 2001 I came to France so I was very destabilized my life I changed my traditions my friends my culture so I was a little bit lost after seven years the Lord the Lord found me and now he wake me up three months that the Lord woke me up I feel the Holy Spirit came down on me and said to me preach all people say to them I will come soon I had a message from the Lord that he will come soon and the end is near so the Lord woke me up to speak to you my testimony and how Lord glorified in me how he, he found me I was lost so God bless you.